I tried to sell the principal mm -hmm. on the other mm -hmm. boxes that happened mm -hmm. and then he just kicked mm -hmm. me out of his office. Could've been on Wall Street. Should've been on a ball team. Could give a fuck about your team. Eyes and got the eyes on me. Wall Street. Mike's on. Welcome back to Soul Investments, guys. This is episode three. I'm sorry for the delay. You can check my other videos to see what I was up to, but let's get right into it. So, you're tired of folding paper, right? It must be annoying. Or you graduated um, middle school and you're up to high school. Or you just want to make more money. Perfect. Okay. The corner store student. This was a phrase used uh, to describe me back in high school. I used to have another bag that I would bring with me to school and I would sell candy. Okay. A whole bunch of candy and I made $600 in three weeks okay and the only reason why it was three weeks is because I was ratted out and the principal um, caught me blah blah and yeah so this is against the school rules okay you can't sell anything on school property so I'm not saying you should do this I'm just explaining what I did and how I made some money in high school okay so first thing that really helped me to make $600 in three weeks just selling candy on school property it was just a couple hours a day and I just went really aggressive, okay? So, first thing, you have to be aggressive, okay? You have to, your personality has to be the main thing, okay? You have, to have, you have to be friends with everyone, even if you're not friends. Literally, I went down the hallway and asked every single person I saw. I had known my friends with it, but usually I kept my friends out of it and I just asked every other person I didn't know. I even sold to teachers at some point. So, even during lunch, I, uh, I would eat my food and get up and go to every single table and lunch and ask people like hey, you want to buy something you want to buy something they're like what do you mean i'm like okay i got this i got this i got this that's another thing second thing is variety okay i used to sell skittles all the different flavored skittles like the sour ones the purple ones the red ones purple whatever skittles i sold m&ms and peanut m&ms i sold rice krispies i sold oreos honey buns gum um snickers starburst I don't even remember if I had any more else, but that's the key thing, variety. Because if someone comes for something or you go up to someone and they don't like this, you could sell them on something else. Or they come up to you for one thing and then they didn't know you had all this and then they, you buy this, they buy something else. So, aggressive, be out there, don't be shy. I knew people that were selling candy at school, they were my competition, but their personality restricted them from making more money and they ended up quitting because they just couldn't handle it and that's fine. Some people can't, it's not for all. You know, I'm gonna be telling you guys more things or you can find other ways to make money. The true entrepreneur hustler finds a way. Anyways, um, you have to have confidence, that's all. Just ask people if they wanna buy anything. And then the third thing, which I didn't really do, I guess, or it wasn't really, I didn't have the opportunity, which I was though, either way, is be careful. Because if you get caught, that's it. It's better to have consensus, consistency long-term success than just short-term success and yeah like I, I made $600 I made the best out of it and later on I sold the rest of the boxes that I had left um, later in the year which is kind of funny because when I got caught and I was sent into the principal's office I tried to sell the principal on the other boxes I had and then he just kicked me out of his office but I mean you know entrepreneurs big guys I know in history they uh, they were people that broke the rules okay so aggressive variety and be careful Okay, sell candy, bring another bag, you buy it at Costco, super cheap. Make sure you write everything down, your calculations, so you know what you're selling, keep everything organized, and go sell some candy, okay? You're not doing anyone any harm, so even though it's against the rules, all you're gonna give people is just a little more sweet, and more sugar into their body, and people these days don't really care, and it's their choice. So, your point is just to make some extra cash, right? Okay, here's another way. I hope you, uh, Make some money off this, and if you do, please leave a comment under this, put a like, send someone else over here, and I'm telling you, this could be an easy, efficient way to make money because you are already in school, and this is high school. You can't really sell origami in high school. So, anyways, subscribe, like, come back for the next episode. Thank you. Here's the game plan. I do it because I fucking need to. Could have been on Wall Street. Should have been on a ball team. Could give a fuck about y'all team Cause I don't really feel none of y'all Morphine Wall Street Wall Street Wall Street Wall Street Wall Street, Wall Street. Wall Street.